But anyways, so assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the channel. This channel we do different sort of stuff. Let's just keep it at that. Different sort of stuff. But anyways, um, so today's topic is just going to be an extension of a discussion that I had with my friend yesterday. Now, so basically it's just about if a woman is the one to initiate like a love interest first, or even if to propose, they shouldn't be bashed. And it's not emasculating the man. It's not making the man weak. And it's not making the woman seem more like she's taking a masculine role. I've been hearing a lot about feminism and masculinity and emasculation. And I'm like, guys, calm down. Calm down. Like, really, just a girl asking a question doesn't emasculate the man. Like, do you want to marry me? Do you like me? Blah, blah, blah. And all those kind of questions that they be like, these questions should come from a man. When, like, excuse you, are you, man and woman, they can get this um, emotion at any stage and at different periods in life. So, so if the man hasn't gotten it first, I guess the woman should just wait and sit down till she points a skeleton for the man to get the feeling so he can, can come talk to her or you as a woman can put your quest forward that's what i was about my friend had a different opinion and i had an unpopular opinion would i do it am i saying that you should do it but would i do it i probably might especially if i think about my contest and my situation i'd be like mm, the last thing they can say to me is no and once i get my new at least i have a cool show i'm not in a limbo thinking about who oh, i should have done this what if i just you know sometimes you gotta put a brave face and the society that says that oh you shouldn't do this because that is a man with a man's role the man should be the one chasing you they should be the one like getting the ring and all that and i don't know maybe it's true maybe it's not but we have also seen in this society where the woman is the one to make the initiative the one to talk be the like the active participant or the role <laughs> active to the active um role in getting them somewhere or in getting the relationships somewhere if you know what i mean i was watching a video on youtube once and the youtuber was saying that it's not favorable for a woman to be the one initiating or be proposing and all those kind of stuff like it's not maybe or maybe say in our modern society, it's not. Or I'm like, mm, girl, I don't think it takes away anything from the woman. It doesn't take away her her chastity. It doesn't take away her modesty, even if she's the one to bring it forth. Because what do they say? Like something worth having. Finish the proverb or idiom, whatever. I mean, she's a human being. Is is either she's going to stay silent and let this feeling die down, or take a step forward? And a step forward might might be like if she's bold enough to go to the person and ask, or for those even if she's like pretty or even extra pretty, and like the guy is like, ah, this girl is like this beautiful girl is <laughs> is feeling me, and you know, those kind of stuff. But if you are not pretty and you still want to take that step, I don't see why not. I mean, considering that the man, the person you are talking to is a decent, nice, kind, and won't be like, oh, this ugly person is coming to talk to me, who does she think she is, and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I'll be the one that I'll be, I'll, I'll do that. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm not a daredevil. <laughs> but it, I'm not a daredevil. But I feel like I'd rather get my new than be wandering in limbo. No, nobody. I'm not going to stay in limbo. I'm not staying in limbo. We're going to get our new now and we have our culture and we'll be over it once and for all. Than me just expecting the man to magically know that I have some feelings or 
to know that I'm interested or to know that I find him cute or something like that. I get the reason why people say that women shouldn't do this because a man or a guy can take advantage of them or the situation can actually go awry. Imagine a situation where the woman tells the man and the man feels like, oh, blah, 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 and he goes to tell his friends and it comes to some kind of violence like that, cat, cat calls and all those kinds of stuff. I've heard stories like that, which is sad. I'm not blaming the girl. I will never, like, if you are comfortable and you are brave enough to shoot your shots like that, I'm not going to be like, because uh, some of us that we like say we have been single from single, we have been single since the day we are born. We can't even really take a step. So don't be bashful for look at that can do it. You know what I mean? If you can't, you can go and sit down. Some people can do it. So one time on Instagram, I was watching a compilation of women that proposed to men. Say about 15 men that different women proposed to. Only two out of the 15 men regard their proposals. And I was like, it's just so sad. And the comment section thing, like people came for them. People came for this woman. This was maybe about six, seven years ago. And personally, even then, I didn't feel like the girls, the women, they did anything wrong. They did anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, it might not be in their in the normal societal gender role that women should be the one initiating or proposing. These situations, like the compilation, they're not the exceptions. I'm sure a lot of women in the world, past persons and in the future, have proposed to men and they have eventually went on to have good relationships. So I don't think it was out of ordinary, but the reaction that it's only two out of the 15 women that actually regarded the proposal of this woman, even if they're not going to accept the proposal, but you can still treat them in a kind, humane, nice way. It was just so sad for me, and like the way people also bash them, and the way the men also responded. A woman won't just come and propose to you, maybe say, out of nowhere, they won't come out like that and propose to you out of nowhere or say like, you know, let's take our relationship to the next step. We have been dating for two, three years. Let's take you to the next step. And I feel like maybe the majority of women will be like, no way. A better way is parent and come out. Because I'm like, you know, if you also can do it, if you're comfortable with your confidence, do it in an intelligent and safe manner. Yeah, the reason why I like this camera better is because it's softer. The other one is harsh and so sharp for me. But anyway, I don't know. I'm a Muslim woman and the prophet's wife, Khadija, was the one to initiate and propose to the prophet, and even though she's richer she is older like significantly older than the prophet they had beautiful marriage and lots of children that is success right there and i don't think society should be ingraining the this notion that adhere or abide by the gender role and let the man come and do his job do you want to lose out on wonderful relationships just because of what society says do you or even if it doesn't happen, what I know is that you're courageous, you're brave, you, you're not in limbo, you're not stalking, what if, how. And I'm sure it's not only Khadija that have taken that kind of initiative, when like it's one way the typical norm. I mean like another, another example would be like Sarah, the prophet's wife, the prophet's divine's wife, she is the one to give a jar to the prophet. Because the prophet is very like a child. And that's another situation like that where a woman can take the initiative. Don't limit yourself because of societal gender norms and expectations. Like, you know, it's not being desperate, especially if you're already in a relationship. Most of the time, I feel like majorly we're all just looking out for ourselves. We don't want to be left behind. We don't want to seem like we didn't take, we didn't do our Heart. however odd or misconstrued or out of ordinary that is 
we live different lifestyles and we have different strengths, we have different situations, different contexts that warrant us to take some actions sometimes that are not the norm. They're not even extraordinary. It's just out of the norm. It doesn't follow the societal's expectation. And you go on and you do your go. Do you go? Do you? And you don't, you just don't know that you have beautiful relationships such as, I don't know, the prophets are really strong. Like, <laughs> if you want to do this kind of thing, be safe and be intelligent about it. Let me give you a story. Story, story, story. Once upon a time, okay, anyways. Uh, so story, story. Once upon a time, when I was in university, I mean, I'm a poet, and you know, they said that all sports, we are, we are very romantic, like we are, we are, we are romantic. So I was like this person, and I was like, hmm, just me, I was shy, I was very shy, but hmm. I was like, you know what? I am going to go ahead and say my mind. <laughs> okay, so and one time I wrote a poem and I was supposed to present it. I know this person, this person, our potential potential, that could have been our potential. I added, yeah, I created the poem and I added some lines there. When I am Reading this poem, I'll look there and say, at the first time. Anyways, so I was like, I was like, when I put it, <laughs> okay, okay, so I was like, when, I, when I'm reading my poem, I'm going to look at the person, you need to get our message across, to, to get my message across. And I did. That's how I showered. And she's standing in front of this. <laughs> like in front of a huge audience. So not a very huge audience, but significant amount of audience. And I read my poem. I said what I want to say. Look at that person. <laughs> Bold move. Bold move. But anyways, the moral of the story is that even if you don't reach the end goal that you envisioned or want, at least you get your message across. And if you understand you, my dear, you are blessed. If you get your message across and they understand you, my dear, you are blessed. Because you know, some of us even do it. We don't, we don't get the message across. But I mean, I'm not saying that's my situation. I mean, like, I, I said my piece. And even though it, lo it might seem big, but I felt that the person understand because we had connection. We had connection after, but of course it didn't turn out. I mean, if you see this, you know that it didn't turn out how we went. But I feel like it's, it's beautiful that if you do that, even if you don't reach the end goal, you, got, you get your message across and they understand you. That's even more beautiful. At least they understand you. For me, that's the least that I go as well. And when I look back at the situation, I'm grateful. That's at least, I mean, we, get, we didn't get there, but we got the message across. And they understand us, you know? You know and that's more beautiful thing. And again, you are not stuck in limbo. Let's repeat that. You are not stuck in limbo. So if you're in that kind of situation, and you got your message across, they understand you, they're not creepy. You have to gauge the situation too. I'm not saying that just go, <laughs> just go do anything or anyhow. You know, you have to you know, study the person, see if they are decent, kind, you know, all those kind of things. They may react somehow negatively that even if they don't feel that way, they're not going to embarrass you or humiliate you. I don't know about sending a message, honestly. I don't know about sending a message to the person and like clearly stating or elaborating and pouring your, uh, uh, your heart out. I don't know about that. But maybe you can do it subtly. Maybe say there was an event and you are some kind of a coordinator, so you invite this person. So you open a dialogue somewhere. 
to start a discussion. No free injection. And if you put yourself in the guy's shoes or the man's shoes, you might think or you might feel empathetic in a way that you want to make it easier for the discussion or for the approaches if that's a word to work out you see from the intelligence i feel like you would thank yourself later that you you have at least tried and not leave it to the man figuring out or reading your mind or both of you just telling at each other mm -hmm. Okay, one thing that I forgot to mention before I took all my makeup off was luxury. People are luxury. In terms of like speaking to a man or a guy that you like them or you want to propose to them or whatever you want to say. Of course, you can also go in the way that the prophet's wife Khadija also went and she talked to her friend that narrated her message to the prophet you can also go that route and like have a third party do the talking for you but remember people are luxury and yes some people are blessed with people like that around them that can deliver their message in the most genuine manner with a good intention in heart but of course We've also seen that personal interest can emerge and you might not even deliver your message. In terms of if you listen to, if you watch this movie, The Griots in on Netflix, the Latifa Dede Meiji and this other lady. In terms of that, when like the third party did not deliver the message. And that's what I mean by people are luxury. Do you have that people around you that can actually be your third party or do you just need to suck it up and go do your job and because you know what you gotta look out for yourself if you don't have the luxury of people you, you might as well wait if you don't want to go and be a skeleton turn into a skeleton before you realize that you know what nobody is gonna do your job like so what you're a woman you want to move forward or you want to become a skeleton you got to decide this. I mean, I have been in that kind of situation. Be like, say, okay, maybe I should tell my friend to because they're a lot closer to the person. And you know, the response that I got was like, do it yourself. So you might as well do it yourself. You know, get what I mean? People are luxury. Regardless if your third party has your best interests at heart or not. You might as well do just do it yourself. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you are blessed with people, maybe family, friends, neighbor like that, use them. But if you are not, there you see, there you see your answer. And so personally, for me, I would say like there is nothing wrong with that. End result that you can get is a yes or no. And down the line, you might thank yourself. Who haven't put your best foot forward or if it doesn't work out then you thank yourself to alhamdulillah thank god open it for long you have you have tried one important thing that i want to say like people are luxury you can use them if they have your best interest at heart but if they don't and you can't take it I feel like you can take it. Let me bring it down like this. As a black person, we have been rejected at school. We have been rejected in our environment. We have been rejected at work. Like in so many places that rejection becomes like a second nature. That even at the most heartbreaking points, when your potential or somebody that you like says no to you, it just become normal. Like you know, I've gotten a lot of rejection before another no would not kill me you know what i mean it's just nature and like we move on because so i'm not saying that to go <laughs> go around and be collecting rejections like that no that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that i guess our environment or, or the experiences that we are often bombarded with is filled with rejections that even if you garner enough courage to put yourself in that position to ask 
another rejection will not kill you. That's what I was saying. I feel like at this point we get rejected or we get rejections as if we are eating popcorn. And I'm talking about it as in like a black, you know, us that are not least us, <laughs> us that are least sought after in the environment. Just be like say we get rejected or we get rejection as if we are eating popcorn, like we are drinking juice, like somebody is crying about rejection, you just like what's wrong with her? Like excuse you maybe who knows and maybe by the time you try your fourth fifth sixth trial you met you <laughs> you get your match Anyways. yeah don't call for me i'm just saying my own okay i'm just saying my own but you have to know we eat rejection in this side of the black aisle we get rejection we get rejected as if we are eating popcorn I say we are drinking juice and sparkling juice. What's one rejection? I better let me come and try another. Anyways, bye guys.